Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So today we're going to do chapter 2, verse 29. And uh, yes, I had remembered correctly that verse 30 is the last verse of this section and then he changes to another section. So this section is where he's describing the soul. But Chaitanya Charan Prabhu uh, had explained it in a much better way, in a high level way. And I really, really want to be able to do get to catch up to <laughs> listen to his uh, lectures again so that I can explain to you which section got over and which section we're going to begin. Um, but even if I don't, that's OK. I am doing one verse a day. That's my commitment. That's my <laughs> like absolute stake in the whatever line in the sand or stake in whatever I don't even know what the phrase is I'm trying to find <laughs> but that's my commitment and that's what I'm doing and uh, so if I do the extra thing right away or not or I take a few days weeks whatever that's okay I am studying one verse a day I'm happy <laughs> I'm thrilled <laughs> I'm actually thrilled okay um, so this verse is uh, uh, pretty um, poetic verse is one of those very poetic words. Um, all the sections, the first three sections start with Ashcharyavad or Ashcharyavad or Ashcharyavach. So uh, meaning Ashcharya is means uh, um, surprise, you know, you know like uh, awe kind of like amazing. So that's the amazing is the translation that you've given here. So um, yes, it's 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 very sweet, and it's in not it's in not the anushtup the regular uh, meter that the sans the Sanskrit is not the poem is not spoken in that meter. It's spoken in the other one, which is the longer one. I think the eleven syllable ones, which I don't know the name of. Um, okay, so the literal translation is some look on the soul as amazing, some describe him as amazing, some hear of him as amazing, and while others, even after hearing about him, cannot understand it at all. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me sing it, and I'm going to sing it um, without the background. I think that's going to be my standard now. Ashcharyavat pashyati karshidenam Ashcharyavat vadati tathaiva chanyaha Ashcharyavat chinam manya shrinoti Shrutvapienam Shrutvapienam ve Okay, and so Okay, so Ascharyavat as amazing. Ascharyavat is the amazing part that's repeated in the sections. So Paschati sees. So there's three different sections, three different things. The first one is seeing, the second one is speaks, the third one is hears. And then the fourth one is they don't, some don't even know at all. So, um, and then enam is soul. We've seen that many times. And then um, anya is another. So one person sees, the paschati sees. So one person sees the soul as amazing. Um, the the second one, second line is the vadati is speaks. And anya is another. So another also, eva, like tatha is also therefore also vadati speaks so another also speaks of the soul as amazing um the another person anya again shrinoti is hears so another hears of enam the soul as amazing so one person sees one person speaks one person hears and then okay Shrutva pienam veda na It's easier here. Shrutva pienam veda na because it has those lines and things on top, so it makes it helps me understand whether it's like a ah or e or or what. Okay, shrutva pienam. So shrutva, having heard, even api uh, enam the soul, veda knows na never nothing, and someone basically never, even after having heard, does not know, right? The, that's the thing. So some look on the soul as amazing, some describe him as amazing, some hear of him as amazing, while others, even after hearing about him, cannot understand him at all. And uh, so Swami Mukhananand one. Some see the soul as amazing, some describe it as amazing, some hear of the soul as amazing, while others, even on hearing, cannot understand it at all. Pretty straightforward. Okay. 
So we will do verse 30 tomorrow. Um, wish you a very beautiful day. Rathe, rathe.